Mr. Millennial, we got us a pretty cool little project this morning. Yes, we do. The main goal is don't go swimming. Especially with the escalator. All right, so here's what is kind of going on. The Derby Community Association has been able to acquire all the proper permits and funding to replace our dock. I don't know why this dock needs to be replaced. It looks like it's in... I think you should run across it. <laughs> I'm debating whether that's a good idea or not. <laughs> Remember the point in the beginning of this video I said let's not go swimming? Yeah. This looks like a horrible idea to fail at that point. It's supposed to be straight. This dock has been here for almost 20 years. It served the community very well, but it is definitely at the end of its life expectancy. The goal for the community association was to put something back that is very low maintenance, very durable, something we can just put in and forget. So what we actually have is a company coming and they're gonna drive a seawall down through here, drive metal sheet pilings down in the river, basically in a straight line in front of what would be the old dock. We're gonna backfill in behind it, pour some concrete on top of it, then basically them boats can just come up dock right to that hopefully with the river flooding and everything going on that will hold up over the years a lot of people are going to say why don't you put a float dock in here why don't we put a float dock in here matt because it's nothing but maintenance and the river will fluctuate 50 feet here yeah i mean it's crazy how much the river fluctuates right here consistently where we're at. 20. yeah <laughs> so uh, with this, whenever the river is up, this is for pleasure boaters. When the river is up, no pleasure boaters are going to be using this. This is basically just used in the summer for the pleasure boaters. So if the river comes up and this dock goes underwater, that is not a big deal. We're not docking barges or big boats or anything like that here. So step number one is remove old dock. Uh, the company coming to drive the piling is supposed to be here tomorrow. So we want to get this old dock out of their way. Uh, we're just going to pile it up on the bank and then dispose of it later. And then they'll come in here and drive their piling in, our sheets in, whatever you want to call it. And at some point, we'll come back in and backfill behind it and then get concrete poured on top of it. So, all right. You ready to demo a dock? You see where I stayed standing. Neither one of us bought waders, rubber boots, or a boat. So We're not getting wet today. Let's hope the Hyundai's got the reach we need to uh, pluck poles. I'm pretty sure everybody can see we're wearing sock caps and hoodies. Yeah. It's not warm out here. It either. is not summertime. It is not pleasure boating time. That is for sure. Ridiculous work. There it comes. Got it.
moving right along. Oh, oh! <laughs> Pulled it out of the ground and lost it. Got it. Nice. Now this stuff out here, that's just normal old driftwood in the river. That's not from us. Everything that we're taking off is ending up on the bank. Awesome, got both of them. Whoever put this thing in didn't put them posts very deep in the ground. Better him than me in there. As you guys can see, he's getting ready to start going up the slope. That's where things are gonna get real interesting. Couldn't ask for any better there. The dock's playing nice so far. Last little bit. All right. Thank you, Doc. Playing nicely today.
about uh, going swimming ourselves or going swimming with the excavator. So we're gonna kind of hand pick this up a little bit, get everything thrown down here in a pile. Got some volunteers coming later to dispose of it. Hopefully either later today or first thing in the morning. We should have first construction here and we'll start driving some piling. Again, I say we. It's mostly they gotta be them. They basically requested two things out of us. One, they wanted uh, us to remove the old docks. They didn't have to worry about that. Mission accomplished. They also wanted to have an excavator available here on the land. Their concern is this used to be an old rock quarry. There may be a random big rock or something out there that won't be able to drive down through. So we should be able to reach out there and hopefully help them out if that comes to be, comes to be the issue. So. Quick little view from the top side there before we head out. Everything went pretty well. Nothing floated down the river that shouldn't, which is always good. Got everything piled up. Now it's just kind of a waiting game uh, for Furch. Those guys are on the bars. They're on their way up the river. So hopefully they'll be here this evening are ready to rock and roll in the morning. We'll see if we can get some uh, pollen drive. So we'll be back. All right, guys, had a few delays, but it's about a week later and the rig has showed up. The first thing I need out of us this morning is we're gonna go over here and uh, dig a small little notch in the bank. Need to get some of the uh, riprap and rock moved so they can actually get started off down through there. I'm new to all this. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work, but I think once we get a spot over here, set to where they're going to start they're going to drive a couple h piles down through there lay an i-beam on those they'll use that as their straight line to drive their uh cheap piling so first things first we got to get them a starting point
Well, Mr. Millennial, you know what's going on this morning. I have a, I have an inkling as to what's going on. I know but I'm not the guy full of details on this one. <laughs> I know for a fact that uh, we've spent the last two and a half hours trying to get the boat started. I well, say uh, we, holiday we mostly them, but it's a long story short, they're going to need to get repositioned slightly to be able to reach what they need to reach comfortably. So right now they're pulling their spud poles up. Once they get their spud poles pulled up, they're going to reposition the barge and then hopefully they'll start driving some uh, piling is the, uh, is the plan. They switched that spud pole over that other hole over there. I'm assuming that way whenever they boom out this way, they don't have to worry about getting the crane boom in the way of it. He's checking water depth there. All right, guys, finally getting set up and going here. So basically this here will be a temporary pile they're gonna drive down in there. There's another orange stake <clears throat> down there in the river. And basically they'll use this as a straight line when they go to drive their sheets. I'm sure that'll all make a little more sense here a little bit later, but they're getting ready to hammer this one down a little bit. This will basically just be a, be a little bit of a reference for them, so. He's trying to twist that, trying to twist it right there a little bit now. Here we go. We do know there is a rock ledge down through there, but it's probably in a good 10, 15 feet of uh, mud, which is good. All right, I'm gonna go back down here and give them a hand. They're getting ready to dry the first piece of sheet piling. As soon as we rearrange where that wall is gonna go slightly, I need to get them a little dot. It's really important we get that first piece of sheet piling to go in there nice and straight. So. I'll watch this side walk over here. A lot of stuff going on in the small area here.
They felt pretty confident. Sitting up there a lot better, that's a yeah. good start. That's sitting up there much better for them. What'd they say, the way the first one goes in is what the whole wall's gonna look like? Yeah. Yeah, there was a pretty big rock that you took out. A little the leaning to the left or a little leaning to the right. Don't make us start chanting sporting event I wish you think I'd vibrate head up there ways, just do it. I'd hate to even do it. 20,000 pounds? Uh, I'd say it's not like. They've been going down so far on this one, then they stop and kind of check it, make sure they're still getting plumb. Once they get latching onto these, I believe they'll just be able to uh, kind of run with it. But that beam they put in behind there will keep them straight. And then once it gets this sheet in plumb, that should keep them in line going the other way. So we're taking the time here, making sure they get this first one in there just perfect. And then we should be able to uh, hit the ground running. There is the first sheet it is down it took them about a half an hour or so to get her just the way they like her sinking about 12 to 15 feet in the mud they hit solid rock down there which should be plenty sufficient for what we're uh we're doing so that's a start all right sheet number two is getting ready to go in i believe what they're gonna do and if I'm wrong, we'll find out together, but they should interlock those two sheets, set it down. He'll unhook the crane, and we'll grab the vibrator hammerhead. That's a super technical term I just come up with. And then come back over and he'll uh, slide her down in there, so. A little bit of game of fishing, but they'll get her. I'm sure running a crane is a pretty tedious job anyways. And so whenever you throw in the element of floating around on a river on a barge. I know it don't look like that barge is moving a whole lot, but if you watch it close, you can see it move some. A little bit of movement in that barge is a whole lot of movement in that plate.
just coming down ever so slowly trying to get that lined up in there got it That right there basically shows you them sheets are the same length, so that's how far they're actually driving them down the mud, which is a good, who guys gonna call that? We'll call it at least 12 feet, maybe 15. Well, there you have it, sheet number two is going down. I know the camera does not show how violent that thing vibrates that panel to work it down through that mud. But it means business, let me tell you. And we're engine to have cables up there flopping around. Definitely kind of a slow, tedious process. All right, I'm gonna try to sneak down here and kind of give you guys a little sneak peek of what it looks like here at the end of the first day. Hopefully I can do this without getting wet, but it's hard to show you guys on camera how massive these sheets actually are. That big crane handles them like a bunch of little Tonka toys but they are not. But as you guys can see, got two sheets in there. They look pretty good. They're a little bit off their beam on the one side, but like I told these guys, we are not building a watch. We're trying to build a boat dock and that is plenty close enough. So the plan is for tomorrow, I believe they're gonna drive out this beam, probably pull this spud pole here, leapfrog it down and keep going. There's an orange stake down there in the water. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're heading heading right towards it obviously we'd like to be a little farther along today than what we are but kind of got a little bit of a late start and then uh dealing with the rock here kind of slowed us down a little bit but i want to give a shout out to uh Furch construction these guys we actually got a bid from them to come in and do all this and uh raise the funds to do it and then they showed up and said they're donating the crew the boat all their time only thing we have to do is buy the material so i cannot thank these guys enough for what they're doing for the local community here i'm obviously donating my my time and several other people are going to donate their time to get this all done because this boat dock here actually helps the community center the store the tavern and then our store just up the road and steve's got a boat storage building across the across the way over there so it's kind of the heart and soul of the little community here so it's really cool to see everybody pitch in to kind of make this happen but hopefully we'll be back down here tomorrow have a little nicer weather they're thinking now that they're set up they're gonna move pretty quickly so it's basically 100 and 140 feet across there so anyways i'm gonna head to the house i'm gonna get warmed up it has been cold out here today and uh we'll be back tomorrow and hopefully hopefully we'll get some footage in the river Good morning guys, day number three down here on the river. The good news is it is a little bit warmer today. The bad news is the fog has moved in. These guys are up and running strong this morning, getting ready to slide the third sheet down in there. They're hoping to have a pretty good showing today. So we're gonna let them do their thing here for just a little bit. I've got to run and do a few errands and a few other things and we shall be back to check on them. All right, guys, got all kinds of action going on here. Just got back and they got several pieces set, getting there to pile another one in. Got our first load of rock. Has just showed up for backfill here. Gonna get him back to cross and dump, but.
Doing the final few adjustments, get that panel down into place. It's close. in. I'm assuming now they're going to have to remove or move their superstructure down and they'll uh, start in and go again. Well guys, you can see they did finally get that last one wrestled down in there. They went ahead and got their next their vertical set, next horizontal set. Didn't get a whole lot of video of that because it was raining. Now I believe it's hammer time again. They're going to go back to setting some sheets. Give you guys an update here real quick. Kind of left these guys alone the last several days. And they have got all the wall sections in. Look pretty good. They're actually getting ready to start cutting them off. They'll be cut off one foot nine above uh, what we call pool here on the river. So they can, hopefully we can come back in here and cap with concrete and do all that cool stuff we need to do. So they're going to get started in on that. Everything drove pretty good for them. There's uh, one section where those ponies are a little bit lower. The water is a lot deeper and the mud's not as deep. We're thinking there's water coming up over this. It kind of comes down, eddies out. And uh, digs a hole there in the river. So we're just gonna have to be a little bit careful when we go to backfill, but that don't cause any issues. We may have to get some rock on the actual outside of the wall, which is a core kind of once anyways, but I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape. So stay tuned for the finished product. All right, guys, I apologize. I didn't get a whole lot of video of this here towards the end. We got busy on some other projects, but there it is. Check it out. They have got the entire wall in. It looks absolutely awesome. On the far end down there, they're about seven foot embedment. Embedment means they basically drove at least seven foot down into some good hard dirt or mud uh, before they hit the bedrock. But from that orange dot right there, you guys can't see it. There's another orange dot. There's a great big hole in the river right there. The river is actually about 15 feet deep uh, in this little section. Our guess is water comes over top of that pier out there, circles up over and the current hits right here and it's kind of dug it out. Once you get from here on out, we're pretty good. We're about 10, 12 feet in the mud again. So what's that mean for us? That means we're gonna have to be a little bit careful when we go to backfill it, as you guys will see in the next video, which I got a few surprises for you, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. The goal is gonna be to get all this backfilled up to the top of those things. Then we're gonna get a welder in here and uh, weld off some form boards, and eventually we'll have this all concrete in here and those boats can float right up to it. So like I said, a huge thanks to Furch Construction for donating uh, all their time, their barge. I mean, that is one heck of an operation right here. They come up here. Uh, they actually bid this job, and then after they bid it, they decided to uh, donate it. So a huge thanks to those guys. If anybody's looking for any river construction, uh, marine work done, these are the guys to get a hold of. They did absolutely 
awesome but that's gonna be a wrap on this one hopefully you guys stick around for the next video uh, we'll get the back filling on this and like i said i got a little surprise in my possession so you guys are going to definitely stay tuned for that so hopefully we'll catch you on the next one later guys